Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on a few of y'all to come. <laughs> hey, we are actually in Atlanta, uh, Prophet Tanya. Can't wait for next month to come hang out with you. Wow, miss you guys too. Thank you so much. Blessings. Hello, everyone. Blessings to you guys. We love you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your continued support. Um, we are excited about what God has done and in your lives and what he's about to release in your life even for this year and uh, I tell you anticipation of what is in store for next year and it's graduation time you've passed the test and um, you passed the test and it's time to graduate um, and so um, really be proud of yourselves for where you have come and the obstacles that you had to go through, the challenges that you faced, but none of that stopped you. You're here today, um, and so greater is coming. Amen? Greater is coming. And so it's time to graduate. It's time to mount up with wings as eagles and, um, and soar. That's it. You know, I, was, um, I got that thought because we are at a, um, we are at a graduation. And let me say this, this is probably one of the most monumental graduations uh, of, of my life. Now, I'm going I'm to qualify that in just a moment. Uh, uh, let me show you a picture very quickly. This, this, this young man graduated today. You say hello to him, Antoine. Hey, how y'all doing? So this is uh, our 22-year-old son, and uh, he graduated today with his bachelor's degree in accounting from Kennesaw State University here in Atlanta. And so, uh, yes, he looks like a twin, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so it's an amazing, amazing feat because I think I've given you guys some statistics on my family. Uh, my, uh, I have five siblings. Out of five of them, four of them are deceased. Um, and so, or three of them are, are deceased. There was another one who did not even make it past just being, you know, just being born. And so, you know, when I looked at that, I'm like, this is a major, major accomplishment in for my family, for my, you know, he's the first one of my biological children to graduate from, uh, from college. And so it's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's amazing. And so we're really thankful today, but I felt like that was a prophetic word for somebody else, that you got to know that it's your time to graduate, that no matter what you're going through, where you're at, what you've been through, what the odds are against you, that it's your season to graduate. And many times what happens is, is that we, uh, we let so many things stop us from, from finishing what we start. Uh, you know, you look at it, you know, it's, uh, it's the end of the year. Uh, some of us did not receive what we thought we were going to receive during this year. But our declaration that it is graduation time for you. That it's time for you to pass the test. It's time for you to push past, uh, push past your failures, push past your inadequacies, push past all the things that you feel like you're not qualified or capable to achieve and receive. And, and graduate. It's your time. You've got to know that. You got to. You got to put that in your mind. You got to put that in your brain. You got to put that in your heart. And you got to know that this is the season for you to graduate. Uh, and you got to push. You got to press. You got to endure. Uh, I remember a couple of weeks ago he called and he said, "Dad, I got a test. I don't know if, how this test is going to go." Then he said, "And then I got a couple of requirements that I need to take care of." And I said, all you got to do is study for the test and pass the test, and I promise you God's going to do everything else. And so once you pass the test, everything else is going to work out for you. Amen? Not the A's, yeah. not the A's. Absolutely, because the test proved, um, it proves that we've learned some things. And so as you look back over your life, you can say, I've learned from this. I've learned from my trial. I've learned from my tribulation. And so as you as you look back over 2017, um, begin to look at the lessons that you've learned, what came out of it. Um, you know, I have been in school, and my husband would oftentimes say, what did you learn from that class? Um, what was the, you know, you have your objectives, but there are things that you will learn that you didn't think you would learn, you know, that wasn't a part of the curriculum, so to speak. And so that's how it is in our own life. 
um, there are things that we will learn that we had no idea um, that we would actually learn that we would really have to to understand and um, and so it is it is these times that we can say God I thank you that I didn't fail that test that I don't have to retake that class um, because I was able to endure I had to forgive when it was hard to forgive I had to overcome challenges when I didn't think I had the strength to do it and so all of us can relate to that in some area of our life to wherein we've had to overcome, we've had to endure in order to pass the test. And so congratulations to each of you. Yeah, congratulations um, to each and every one of you for um, continuing, for being steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your prayers, your giving, your serving is certainly not in vain. And so this is our oldest son. Um, and so he's the junior. LeJean Jr. <laughs> Y'all don't, y'all don't often get to say hello, uh, to our, um, our awesome sons, but, uh, cause they live here in Atlanta, but I wanted them to be able to say hello to you guys and just, uh, to, yep, twins. Yep. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> y'all thought I was the only one that looked, look, that looked like this. Help us, Jesus. There are more of us in the world. Yep. But our declaration today is, um, that it's graduation time for you. Yes. Hey, man, you want to say hello to them? Oh, I'll wait. Oh, they can hear you. They hear everything you say. Hello, <laughs> Hello, people. Uh oh. Hello, Hello people to them, too. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, wow. yep, that's Junior. This is what you should get right here. Yes. Yeah. So we are blessed. Uh, we're blessed with beautiful children, beautiful family um, that surrounds us. And um, so we're excited. We're truly, truly excited um, about what God has done and That's what it. he continues to do yeah. in all of our lives. Yes. God and bless you. and what, he, what they're going to do in your life. Let me tell you something. God is getting ready to do amazing things. I really believe that this is an amazing season of promotion. It's an amazing season of graduation. There are many of you listen to me. I want you to hear me very well. You have really, you have, you have studied to pass the test. And there's some of you have been like, God, when is my season coming? When is, when is my time? But I hear the Lord saying that, yes, this is your season and your time for graduation. It's your time for promotion. It is the time that you get ready to go to levels that you didn't even imagine that you were going to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you, what you let your circumstance is or what it looks like or what it feels like. I'm telling you, this is your season of promotion. It's your season of graduation. It's your season to go to your next level. You've got to put that in your spirit. You've got to decree it. You've got to declare it. You've got to know that this is that time for you. Amen. Amen. Somebody says, yes, I check the mail daily. I love it. I love it. Let me tell you something, Angela Summer. You are absolutely right. we got to check the mail every day because I'm telling you, it's coming. Bless you, Kim Capis. Kim Capis checked on us last night. She said, y'all better get back on the Periscope and the Facebook <laughs> Live, man. And so we're going to do that. But I wanted you to get that in your spirit. I want you to get that in your heart. I want you to know that the God that you serve is a faithful God. And he has, he, he has your best in, uh, interest in mind. He's already seen your uh, ending from your beginning. Even for some of you, let me tell you something. I was, as I was sitting in that graduation, I saw some of your faces graduating. Come on, you gotta know it. You gotta know that it's your season to graduate. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh no, we know that, Kim. I'm just messing with you. God bless you. But listen, we're gonna get off of here. We weren't gonna yes. stay on long, but that's our declaration and we're not taking it back. Amen? Absolutely. He canceled a three hundred dollar insurance payment oh, yesterday. That's wow. right, that's right. Wow. Graduation time. Graduation yeah. time. Graduation time. Get ready for it. All of the requirements. Get ready for it. That's it. I like that. Amen. Well listen, we love you guys. It's a little loud in here. We're celebrating with him, but uh, again, really, really excited, really appreciative for you guys. And um, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some more. Uh, scopes and some more Facebook lives and we want to stay connected with you. I've got some really great stuff that's coming up really soon. We did some uh, some filming for some other things that we've got coming up and so I've taken the last week or so to really really take some time apart to pray, to really uh, really strategize, to really develop a strong plan for 2018 because I really believe that 2018 is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing year. But I also know that today is for just the, the 13th, so there are still year, days left in this year uh, that we're going um, to see. And so you got to know that God is not done, uh, even as it is this day, this year, um, it, it's going to come. It's going to come. 
Well, listen, we love you. We're getting out of here. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.